Hi guys, yeah, welcome back to Philly Solution, and I'm super excited to have you back with me here. Today we'll be solving another question on the topic, gas loss. And the question goes to us, the pressure of air in a tire is 22.5 Newton per meter squared at 27 degrees Celsius. If the air in the tire is up to 47 degrees Celsius, calculate the new pressure of the air. Calculate the new pressure of the air, assuming that no air leaks out and that the change in volume of the air can be neglected. So the first thing we'll do right now is to bring out the parameters given in the question. From the question, we're given that the pressure of air in the tire is 22.5. So the pressure in the air, which is the P1, the pressure of air in the tire is 22.5. So the P1 is 22.5 Newton per meter squared at 27 degrees Celsius. That is, temp that is the initial temperature of the air in the tire. 27 degrees Celsius. If the tire, if the if, if the air in the tire hits up to 27 degrees Celsius, so after the car was driven, so the temperature of the air in the tire is now so our T2 is now 47 degrees Celsius. But we're to calculate the new pressure of the tire of the air. New pressure of the air. So the pressure. And this question, as you, as, you, as you can observe, the change in volume can be neglected as given as told in the question. And this is a question under the pressure law. And, and the pressure law states that P1 over T1 is equal to P2 divided by T2. Now we are given P1, we are given T1 in degrees Celsius. However, we only use Kelvin to solve questions under gas laws so so we will be converting our our temperatures to kelvin so to convert to, to convert 27 to kelvin we will add 273 to it so we have 27 plus 273 which will give us 300 kelvin and also adding 273 to 47. So, 73. 273 plus 47. That is still 20. It is still 20 Kelvin. So, let's put in our parameters now. Our P1 is 22.5 divided by T1. Is 300 equals to P2 is what is the unknown divided by T2, which is 320. Then we will have to cross multiply 300 multiplied by P2 equals to 320 multiplied by 2.5. So 300 P2. Equals to 320 multiplied by 2.5 equals 7200. So, so for our P2, divide by the coefficient of P2, which is 1200. This will cancel out this. Our P2 will equals to 200 divided by. So this gives us 24. This 24. Newton parameter squared, and this will be all for the for this question. And you want to like this video and drop a comment for me in the comment section if you have learned one or two things. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, can you do so? As this will be much very really much appreciated. And click the bell, the bell icon to get notified whenever I drop an educational content like this. See you again.